Hey guys, what's going on? It's Eli. That's right. Throughout this week, um, and the, you know, the final week of September, we're gonna be, I'm gonna be reviewing, and that's right, Wiggles. So, you know, uh, starting off, of course, with the Wiggles movie, but it's gone through two different titles. Uh, Dorothy's birthday, magical birthday, I want to say, and then, then Magical Adventure. But, you know, I'm calling it the Wiggles movie, so, you know, that's what it, that's what it was originally called. And this was, uh, you know, because 20th Century Fox distributing this, uh, helping out with this film, and uh, this is what really, like, kicked off the Wiggles, uh, you know, in the mid-1990s, and uh, um, they got new skivvies at that point, and with the logo on their shirts, and uh, by the way, have you seen the shirt I'm wearing? I really dig this, and Little Blue actually helped with this. Like, he picked blue, because, like, the same color is like Anthony's skivvy, so, you know. Anyways, um, so the Wiggles movie, because, you know, for one thing is, because it has a story to it, which that's nice, aside from the song numbers, like, the songs, like, uh, you know, from, let me see, like, you know, Dorothy, Would You Like to Dance With Me, Can You Point Your Fingers, Do the Twist, uh, Wally's, uh, Wally's uh, theme song, um, uh, rock a -bye or bear uh, Quack Quack, cock doo doo that song. Or is it just called Quack Quack? Probably so. Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, every, uh, new songs to it, like Everybody's Dancing, Everybody's Singing, Everybody's Dancing, Everybody's Wiggling in the Rock and Rolling Sea, uh, Henry's Dance, um, even Miss Bingle's theme, uh, Wags' uh, dance number, the Wagettes, uh, Remember, ballerina, ballerina, um, Captain Feathersword's dance number, uh, uh, hot potato, romp up a stomp, uh, nah, 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 that one, the Captain Feathersword, of course, um, and, uh, last song of the film, uh, you know, is, you know, let's have a party, but the story itself, like, you know, because, okay, the, the Wiggles are planning a surprise party for, Dur for Dorothy, today's her birthday, while, and, you know, trying to keep it from her, not to spoil it, you know, and keep it a surprise, Dorothy being upset, Wally trying to become a great magician, and so on, you know, his great-grandfather was uh, Waldo the Magnificent, and, you know, uh, Tony Harvey, who plays Wally, and then there's, uh, um, there's Jimbo, and there's, uh, the Magic Club, uh, um, well, and he's the uncle of Wally, Uncle Sissel, at I think, yeah, and, um, and, uh, played by Nori, however you pronounce his name, I don't know, his last name, that is, uh, Mrs. Bingles, played by, uh, Joanne Samuel, who actually is best known for being in the first, uh, uh, Max Fury Road, Mad Max, with Mel Gibson, apparently, <laughs> so, you know, uh, and she's in this, a Wiggles film, but anyways, um, yeah, and uh, just everything that was going on, you know, and very a colorful film and like the wiggle wiggly world and such. And uh, Dor, you know, Wally grabbed a hold of Greg's magic wand, and Dorothy trying to get it back, and is now with Wally while the Wiggles are trying to find Wally and catch up with like Henry Wags and Captain, you know, and so on. And um, yeah, and seeing Wiggle House, the Talking Door. And um, some funny moments here and there are probably one of my favorites, and probably everybody loves this part, it, where the Wiggles, you know, like, they come across Brr Street. <laughs> that is a funny scene, without a doubt, you know, and probably one of the most memorable scenes in the in the film, you know, Brr Street. <laughs> um, and, uh, what else? Um, i trying to remember. Yeah, and, like, Wally, because he, you know, he, he you know, finds it in himself, like, becoming a great magician, and other, and the other magician that's kind of making, just kind of pick, teasing at him or something, Roland the rem Remarkable, you know, um, you know, at least he's, at least he admits, and kind, you know, saying, you know, I'll take good care of Waldo's wand after I win, you know, you can come and watch if you like, like, he's in some ways being polite to Wally, but still, you know, kind of teasing at him or something, uh, what a jerk at first, but I guess, you know, you know, admit, you know, I guess you can't deny that Wally became a great magician and, and he won, so, you know, and, uh, he, you know, Wally gets his uncle's, his great-grandfather's magic wand, 
and he was gonna offer it to Greg, but, you know, Greg has a bunch of other wands, but, you know, you know, I forget what Greg says, but, you know, what you did to your new, to your new friends, and so on, but anyways... You know, the Wiggles movie, it was, you know, it's, it was good. And especially for, for the little, little kids and, you know, and for, and for us that did grow up watching it, you know, um, anyways, eh, I'm give, I'll rate this. Why not? Eight out of 10. Why not? Eight out of 10. Um, it was great. You know, it's a fairly decent film, you know, and especially for the kids who love the Wiggles and so on. And aside from like when it went through a few different titles and they kind of, it was kind of some scenes were switched around. Apparently, the original release when it when and when it was called the Wiggles movie, the scene with Wally, you know, trying to do magic and such, that was at the beginning, and then the credits would roll. But now they switched it around. The credits are the credits, and Wally's theme is first, and then after the scene with the introduction of the Wiggles, we then cut to Wally and his magic. I don't know why they did that. I just I don't I don't understand why. But oh well, if there was a reason or just something, I don't know. And I forget to mention Paul Pettick in this. Like, he has a couple of roles from Captain Feathersword. He was Wags the Dog in that sequence with him and the Wagats. He was the lifeguard. He was the Rose Robber and Officer Beeples making an appearance. It was the first and only time we hear Officer Beeples speak, you know? But anyway, so that's my review of the Wiggles movie. Again, 8 out of 10. Yeah, 8 out of 10. Eight fingers. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed my review. You guys let me know what you, th what you thought of my review. If you've seen the Wiggles movie, leave comments, give it a like as always, and I'll see you guys in the next video slash review. And later tonight, uh, the next uh, Wiggles film or video I'll, I'll be reviewing will be, say, um, how do I put this? You know, Crikey. You might know who, you might know what it is. Stay tuned for that. Take care and peace out.